Happy New Year, guys. 2023 is here. And for those of you that are going to be selling your homes this year, there's three things that are still consistent that will never change that will always be extremely important. The first one is pricing your home. The second one is keeping your emotions in check. And the third one is staging your home. So let's talk about these really quick. Pricing your home appropriately. One thing that is so important to understand, list price is marketing, right? If you look at real estate, it's just like any other commodity these days or product that you price a home where the price is compelling. The price isn't compelling, the home isn't selling, at least not for top dollar, which is what I think every single home seller wants. So how do you price a home? Well, there's three main strategies, go figure. Aspirational pricing, which is for people who don't really have to sell, maybe don't even wanna sell, but they're like, hey, if I got this number, I would go. There's fair market pricing, which is safe, right? It makes sense, you look at what homes like yours are selling for, and you price it right there. And then there's what's called competitive or event pricing. And this is where you're gonna price the home just a percentage, maybe two below what is the fair market value. You have amazing pictures, amazing ads. You're gonna blast this out and market it to numerous different geographics and demographics of buyers. And you're gonna turn your home sale into an event which creates competition. And we all know from the last couple of years, competition drives up prices through the auction line experience. The second thing is keeping your emotions in check. Here's the deal. You and your listing agent, seller's agent are a team. And that is so important to remember. I know sometimes emotions get involved, especially when you're selling your largest asset. Your agent's job, I was actually having this conversation this morning with a team member, is to communicate, convey clarity and confidence and have your back, right? We've got three responsibilities, personal, professional, and fiduciary. When you find yourself stressed, anxious, nervous, curious of what's gonna happen next, don't hesitate to call your agent. But as an agent, they should be proactive. Calling you after the open house with how many people came, what they said, what to expect for offers, and then when you're reviewing offers, helping you make the best decision for you. We're all New Englanders, so you'll get this. As a home seller, you're Bill Belichick. You are the coach, you are gonna call the plays. I get to be Tom Brady. You're gonna call the play into me. I then am gonna tell the team what the play is, the marketer, the stager, the photographer. You're gonna give me the play, I'm gonna get it to the team, and I'm gonna get the ball, and I'm gonna throw it to whoever is the best one to handle it next. Keep your emotions in check through communicating with your agent. And third is staging your home appropriately. Now, one of the biggest benefits of selling in the winter, well, maybe not this winter, but typically there's snow, and snow covers those imperfections of your landscaping. So selling in the winter could save you time, money, and energy because you don't have to clean up your yard. Now, the other thing about staging your home is that it's not just staging the home, but really, what is staging? Well, the purpose of staging, believe it or not, was not what you see on HGTV. The purpose of staging a home was to direct the buyer's eyes as they're touring your home. It was to control the flow of traffic through your home at an open house. Staging is not about painting walls all the time and changing floors and carpet. It's about using what you already have and just simply making it more conducive to making the buyers picture themselves in the home. Any other questions about these three, any of them or anything else, reach out. Pricing can be confusing. Emotions are always confusing, at least to me. And staging your home, sometimes you can go all out, sometimes you don't need to. It all comes down to you. You call the plays, we will execute, and together we'll accomplish your goals.